So we are at Walmart yet again for another video and it really doesn't surprise me. In the last episode we came to Walmart and today we are at Walmart again. We're going to be picking up some tackle here, lures and a few other things and I'm going to explain a little bit and then we're going to go out and we're going to go fishing. So you guys have been commenting in the comment section below, Noah do a weird frog fishing challenge. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and look at the frogs here at Walmart and decide which one we're going to pick. So here are all the frogs in the Walmart fishing section. We got this man super frog, the scum frog, whatever that is. I don't know what that thing is, that thing is, or that thing. I'm gonna get the lunker hunt lunker frog. We got the KVD sexy frog. And then we have this popping frog right here, or some popping perch right there. And that's a weird looking frog, if you ask me. I'm gonna consider this a frog because all in all, it really is. And, um, and then the other ones here, we got a prop frog, which I actually have one of those as well. Um, that's a different lure, but I think we're better off using this, which I'll explain later why, because of where we're fishing. This one has got like a little hook on the end, and it's not going to be able to get through all the stuff we're going to be fishing today. And then there's some other like just miscellaneous stuff right here, but I think this is the weird frog that we're going to have to go with today. I feel like that's uh, definitely the weirdest out of everything in this Walmart's fishing section. And it is a popping perch, but it's going to be a popping frog today, and it's going to catch some fish. So since we got our frog now, I do need one more thing for this frog fishing trip today, and it is fishing line. We need some braid, and um, we're going to be buying braid today, not fluorocarbon, not mono. We're going to be buying braid. That's what you're going to want to throw your frogs on, which I'll talk about later here in a moment. But we're going to get some 50-pound spider wire right uh, I wish they had 65, but we're going to go with the 50-pound. They have 80 as well and 30. 50 pounds is going to be a good thing right there in the middle. If you guys are looking for some braid, they have some spider wire spider wire here at Walmart. That's usually what I go with, especially when I'm at Walmart. It's just the basic old spider wire. You know, it works well for me. I've heard a lot of people, you know, talk bad about it, but it's done me fine. You know, I've, I've used a lot of it in the past and I'm going to continue to use it as long as it works. But if you guys are new to the channel, you need to hit that subscribe button, baby. Hit the notification bell right next to it and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get out of this Walmart, rig up a rod. So the first step of today's video is to, one, re-spool this reel right here with braid which is the first step that we're gonna do. And then we're gonna actually move this reel onto this rod. And let me tell you why. So I ended up breaking a rod the other day, yeah. I straight up snapped that thing. That thing is donezo for sure. So yeah, we're gonna re-spool this reel, throw it on this rod. That's, that's more of the rod that I wanna put it on anyways, which I'll explain a little bit in a second. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Take this line off this reel and then spool it up. All right, I want you guys to watch this. See this line right here? See it? See it? Listen, we're gonna set it right there, and then we're gonna throw it away later. That's important. I swear, guys, I see this all the time, and it's okay if you're guilty of it, but I see people, you know, just leaving this on the ground when they're fishing and leaving this everywhere. Don't do that, it's not a good thing. Don't litter. Pick up after yourself, let's change this. Let's make it a better place, man. So, uh, all right, we got all the line off this reel. Now it's time to get this old Seaguar Stealth braid up on here and this is 50 pounds but first i forgot to mention i do have to put this reel on this rod which is a heavy by the way now it's time to rig up this weird looking frog guys look at this right here oh my gosh that is a funky looking frog right there it's supposed to be a perch but it's still funky, man. That's <laughs> that's a weird looking guy with those uh, colors right there on the bottom of it. But we're going to give this man a try. We got our reel all spooled up. We got him on our new rod. And we are good to go now. And go catch a big fish on this weird looking rod. pull up, you know I be moving. Whipping the floor and I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking to fluent. All of my business booming. Stacking my cash in abundance. All of my family funding.
Black one. Oh. God, dog! Bro, oh uh, my god. I wasn't paying attention, dude. I, I literally just wasn't paying attention. That was a big fish, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know if I get a bite right here, his ass is coming out of this. What's your bite? <laughs> bro, why? I did a good job with that, bro. I kept him up and I was dragging his butt out. He just came on pin. Probably should have came over there and got him. That was a good bite, though. Fair and make it. You want to pick up that tree? Hey, Bradley, hold this while Alan comes up here. Here, let Bradley get that. I think we can move this tree. I don't think it's a problem. This is what we do, people, to get the spots. <laughs> we we to the juice. We get into the juice now. We had two good bites coming back in here. You need my help? Jesus Christ, dude, you got it. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah, Alan Bob. There you go. Are we good? Yeah. Oh baby. You gotta put up leaf. Yo, we actually going through the jungle. You guys better hold on. But it's all rocks on both sides. Where? What the? Whoa! There is no way that just happened. There is no freaking way that that just happened to me. There is no. Look, he's on my graph right there. What? Did you, he's like two pounds? Did you see that? Bro, I swear the GoPro Man. saw that, bro. Look, he's on my graph. He's still looking at me. I'm trying to get him to bite on. Bro, he likes these little furry tails. <laughs> bro, what would you do if, if I was just doing this and he came? Cause cause this would be the most viral you. video I've ever seen in my life. Come on, fish. He's looking at me. Oh, it's still there. Look. Oh, it's all you got to do. Go on. Go on. Got it. Expert. My point is, if there's bass past this, and there's bass in this, right? Yeah. You caught bass. Past <gasps> oh, he's a moose. There we go. He's a freaking moose. Dude. Is there bass in this? I think so. Is there <laughs> bass in this? <laughs> Dude, I thought he was a lot bigger. I thought he was a lot bigger, dude. I thought he was a full-grown moose. A moose, full-grown moose. But that is, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys, you, we fish a bunch of different places. Ogeechee River, Savannah River. Fish like this are are good, man. That, it's, like this is equivalent to a solid three, four pounder on a lake. You know, this, oh, is, easy. this is a two pounder. This is an easy four pounder on a lake. Just a note, so. Pretty bass on the frog, ugly frog, let's get it. So boys, right now we're just covering water, trying to find new spots, throwing the weird frog. And we just caught that moose right there. That was a pretty good fish. Um, missed a lot this morning. It's been it's been a weird day, to be honest with you. Uh, that fish finally ate it. We're figuring something out now. We're about to just cover a ton of water with frogs right now. I mean, just put down the trolling motor and run. Just popping frog, popping frog, popping frog, and see what we can do. Just cover a lot more water. Like I'm gonna let the current take my frog to the bank. You should walk it in the current. Like it's so stable. Oh, oh, it's a good one. I got it. Oh shit, dude! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He was in a foot of water, dude. That's a quarter moose right there. Quarter moose. That's a quarter. <laughs> That's a quarter pound moose right there. Quarter pound. Bro, on the main river, in a foot of water, walking a frog in some major current, walking a weird frog.
Tell me where you can get that at, baby. Fish, man. Get him up to me. Where you at? Right here. Boom. Dude. <laughs> you dude, that was crazy. On the weird frog. On the weird frog. Can <laughs> we talk about this? Check that out. Dude, that was dude. There we go. Heck yeah. Beamed that sucker too. That's solid. Dude. That's solid. Uh, two and a half. Two and three quarters. Three quarter. A little cold. I thought he was like four for a minute there, man. That was... You got me a little. Oh my man. Yo, Bradley on the track. Tell him what you did, man. We're using the weird frog that knows like we're not gonna catch fish on. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Oh my gosh, boys, listen to me now. I've kind of, I've kind of have a problem here. I've been to three ponds, okay, and you guys haven't seen any footage because this bad boy. The pop and perch. It's called the pop and pickle perch because it kind of looks like a pip pip. <laughs> it kind of looks like a pickle. It's called the pop and we're calling it the pop and pickle perch. All right, it's the pop and pickle perch. Is not making it happen. Okay, we missed one fish. Got him! Oh, he came off. Dang, he ate it right at the bank. And that's about all we got on the pop and pickle perch. So we're about to try it out a new place right now, praying that it happens. God, dog, I about fell in the water. That, he, he cremated the pop and pickle right there. I'm not gonna lie. He just never had it. He took it all the way underwater. Holy smokeroos, that was crazy right there. That got me fired up in about a heartbeat, let me tell you. Come on, popping pickle perch. Let's get it popping, baby. Yes, sir. Big, big on the popping pickle. Boom, baby. Yeah, man. What's up? It's just a, it's a frog. Yeah. You have a good one, man. It's the, it's the popping pickle perch, baby. Pop and pickle perch, baby. Look at him. He choked the pop and pickle. Oh gosh. I jacked him too. He was not going nowhere. That's a solid three pound fish right there. He's pushing it. He's probably two and three quarters, but oh, that's a good frog fish. Let's go, man. All that weight right there was finally worth it for a good solid bass on the pop and pickle. Even had some fans watching, man, on the pop and pickle. That's gonna be a, such a meme now. The pop and pickle yeah. does it. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost. Uh, yeah, you know this ain't the old man.